gonna do a quick video. Well, might be long, who knows? It's been a while here, so uh, we're just gonna start out with a nice simple Huey flight. And uh, if I remember, maybe we'll do an auto rotation over here at Batumi. It's a little, it's like 12 10 in the morning. Alright, so I haven't flown this in a couple of updates, so I just want to make sure it's working good too. I uh, haven't heard any issues with the Huey. Uh, now it looks like we're clear to go here. And we'll head over to Batumi, and we'll do an auto rotation, because I believe the last video I did it got cut there. No. Don't mind my sloppy flying here, it's been a little while here. Surprisingly how 13 days go by without VR. tried to alt tab on me. I don't know what's going on there. Seems like we have a good bang new uh, to me. Should be around here, and I think this time we'll just take a nice uh, river approach. And we'll get some altitude here for an auto rotation. Now, just like an update or two ago, that's been needing a little bit more right pedal, which sounds about right for uh, fork flight.
So I saw another auto rotation video the other day. Uh, I believe the helicopter simulation group Facebook. And uh, this buddy overshot the runway a little bit there. So if you guys ever come in a little too quick, you can always do a loop around. Try to keep your rotor RPM consistent there. We're coming in. Hopefully it works out. Looks like that fighter line goes over the water. Let's pull up here a bit. I don't want to mess with those things quite yet. Well, I guess we'll just keep getting altitude here for the auto rotation. We need a minimum 500 feet AGL. Off a fairly relatively simple one, but uh, maybe we'll get a little bit higher here. We'll see how it goes. Let's take a look here how far we are in the video. Uh, about six, seven minutes. It's not bad. Just try not to break my neck looking over at the clock there. Should see what's one line I got. Seventeen after. Uh, so it started at ten after I want to. All right. Air above. Sixty-five, eighty knots. Looking good. Not seven hundred feet. little height boost here and we'll do a fully catastrophic system failure like we we're gonna try and do last time when I got caught at the very last minute I think as soon as I shut the fuel lines on but, uh, speaking of which uh, let's do that now fuel lines on all right so this is a non recoverable auto rotation Uh, well, I get one chance, I should say, but uh, I guess we need a little bit more forward airspeed here. Hopefully we'll pull off the flare and then uh, we'll start on reflective at some point here. Too bad. I'm gonna turn off that alarm. Shut these things down really quick. And we'll power up. Should be able to do that for uh, uh, while the blades are still moving. Here again. I don't know why that came on. Right. Huh, that doesn't sound right. Well, let's get thing out the airport. Let's get some ground power here and try that out. Oh. It's not the right button. Ground uh, power. Chief, turn on the ground power. 
Copy. Yeah, Roger that. Copy. Thank you. Uh, let's turn that battery off. Ground okay. power is now on. Oh, well, wow, it's going to be on AC phase. You're on. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if there's something I forgot to turn off that's hauling off power. That's going to start a little quicker here. You guys be able to hear the difference. Alright, let's just leave the ADF beacon off for now. I'm kind of happy to land at the airport. I think maybe I should probably wait till it shut off before I started it up again, and uh, yeah, that's why the power didn't work. But, uh, oh well. Yeah, we got green, 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 green. Looks good. Do right. Well enough. Alright, let's uh, land at some offshore rig and then uh, let's figure out where we go from there. Man, that shadow looks a little so good, I missed it. Uh, I guess you guys haven't been following my videos. Uh, I did a bunch of karate videos a while ago and uh, just went on a limb there. I joined Taekwondo as well, so we're going to do some cross training. Should be pretty good. Let's uh, get the kicks on the go. Alright, I believe that offshore refinery thing that I put here is just be possible to me harbor right in it actually. So I have my settings set to, I believe the chimney is at 2. Uh, someone mentioned uh, the numbers are just the amount of stacks that are active. Oh yeah, this looks like there's a few that aren't. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I never noticed that before. Hmm. Surprising what you don't know until someone says something and then you take a look there. Um, the higher they are, the more stacks that are active, more smoke in the mission, and smoke, kind of like shadows, it'll kind of hinder your frames per second. Seems to be working pretty good. A pretty simple mission, but uh, I know there's a bunch of issues with the F-14, and you guys are having a crash at desktop. Uh, hopefully that guy's, that's got sorted out for y'all. Uh, you can see here on the left these smokestacks. Looks like only one of them is actually happened, but uh, that's alright. Alright, so you can see the uh, refinery. We'll just quickly land on her. And uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do from there.
altitude and some speed. I think for a change we'll come in from the front side. I believe the staircase on this uh, oil refinery is just up here to the right. In theory, if there is any uh, humans walking around, they would be coming up the stairwell. They get on the helicopter. See the staircase. But, uh, maybe there is none. Oh well. All right. Excuse my flying. Like I said, it's been about two weeks here. Ooh. Famous uh, two weeks trademark BCS. Anyone ever wants to know when a new module is coming out? Everyone usually says that's going to be about two weeks. So. Uh, could have been a lot more pretty. Let's just take off again here and just practice. We'll go to the next one. Hopefully that one looks a little better for you. Get a little bit of popcorn there for a minute. These guys watch that and uh, what is going on? I really have to figure out why Oculus Rift likes to alt-tap when I'm in the game, or PCS, whatever. Right, I get a little altitude here, and we'll figure out how far I'm on the video. I'm up to that's about 15. Hopefully uh, one of these days to get a proper uh, gaming chair again. Uh, maybe something without wheels. Uh, so that way I can get situated in the cockpit a little bit more. Not moving around. All right, computers on, the warning lights. Um, hopefully, this is a different style of offshore oil refinery to land on. And then we'll, uh, we'll pull in land a bit here, fly over the city, land at the other airport, and then uh, maybe we'll do a quick combat run after that. And once we're done, uh, mostly Huey, I'm, I'm hoping maybe I've set up some MI8s, maybe an F-15 or whatever, I'll just keep her going here and make a legit video, but uh, we'll find out. Fly by and then we'll circle around for a change. Seems to be a different one. different to me. Alright. I didn't really 
really pay attention to which way the wind's going, so we'll try to keep it fairly mobile here as we swing around and drop speed. A random little stutter there, that's different. Maybe it's the lighting, that's probably what's going on there, the reflections. Alright, so we're in a stable hover, that's probably what we should have done last time. Alright, so this one's got a ladder, which is very nice to see. And it's probably the way you'd want to land it. Uh, so you could visually see the foot traffic coming up the ramp, walking towards your chopper, as you wouldn't want to have them walking up to your tail rotor, it's, uh, unless you want to chop them up like sardines it's, uh, and feed them to the fishies right here. Alright, nice and soft. Green, 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 I still have 30 minutes fuel. Give a quick little look over here. That's quite a thing I wouldn't want to have with the rotor. Alright, we'll pull into the shoreline and then we'll go land at this airport up here. And switch her up to a combat chopper. Trying to fly a little bit different than I normally do, just so you guys see in a little bit of different scenery. <clears throat> right, let's see here, uh, 25, uh, 10, 15 minutes in. Uh, Train over here. Well, there was supposed to be some different trains in the Nevada map, like old steam trains. It'd be fun to see. It looks like you're gonna have a head-on collision. Not gonna look. Would have been a pretty big uh, impact there in real life if that happened. Hopefully one day DCS will take a look at the trains and maybe fix up more traffic. Although that might just make the FPS go even lower. Oh no. A little scary though. Sometimes you're flying over and you watch a couple trains about to hit on each other. Sometimes you do forget you're in VR when you fly for a while. Maybe you guys can leave a comment in the section there how long you've ever flown in VR, I believe. I did a couple of two-day stretches there, like back-to-back. -back. Uh, a couple of smoke breaks in between, but average uh, 12 to 16 hour stretches. And then uh, I think the one day was 12 hours, and I did 16, and then I went another day there, or 14 hours. And it's quite a VR uh, 10, or goggle face looking thing, whatever you want to call it. Raccoon look. So 
So you see some ships over there. Uh, I believe this is the same map that I landed on the submarine a while ago. Not sure if it was in the winter though. But, uh, it's the same template. You change the seasons real quick in editor. And let's rename the mission. Hopefully one of these days I'll get around to downloading some more random um, stuff to put into a mission. Uh, I know that some guy made one the other day with a custom uh, hel helicopter port on top of a hospital. Pretty sweet. Looks like we're taking fire out this ticket though. Oh boy, I guess we're going under that hydro line. Let's watch out here. Hopefully that was low enough. Seems to be. That takes your breath away when you start doing stuff like that when you have a phone for a few days. Try to fly uh, somewhat realistic where I try not to kill myself. Some people just don't care and go to town. I used to fly like that. Uh, forget what you call it, like flying the... Something about stress on the chopper. I don't know. Or anyway, just basically fly it until you break it. Which you can do quite easily once you stop paying attention to her. But... Maybe just for the hell of it. Well, 10 minutes and we are about 20 almost. Let's switch to the pilot 2. Ooh, it was different. I don't know if I'm really situated right for the seat. Well, I feel really weird in the seat. It's probably good in practicing, but... find this uh, helicopter, the airport here, and then we'll land at it. Five. Probably Kubaletti, I imagine. Kubaletti, Pontiac, one is one. Request navigation assistance. Uh, I think it's zero right there. Okay. I'm slightly off here. I should be over here. I don't know if that's Should be about one more degree over. Oh, yeah, it's taking me to the eastern part of the airport. I'm going to I believe that's where their ADF marker is. Seems like we're about the right course, hopefully. Well, there's other ways of telling if I gain altitude here and get a better view. I know that's the lake which leads inland to the airport. Uh, 
Um, clearly in real life you wouldn't be able to jump seat to seat. It'd be quite impossible if you think about it. Um, unless it was a really old one, you could fold the seats and pull it out and somehow have someone jump back in it. So it's in the back seat to take over and then fold the other seat back and then pull Buddy out and then you jump back in. Be, I don't know if you'd even want to try that in the flight, but uh, I guess it is possible. Do you have emergency seats to pull out pilots who were shot <clears throat> in Vietnam, for example, where uh, you guys can look that stuff up for yourself. I don't really want to talk about it for 20 minutes here, but uh, long story short, I figured I'll just switch to this seat and get a little practice as well. And uh, like I said, it did take us to the eastern part of the runway. Uh, keep going east, we'll go all the way over to uh, Tbilisi, I believe. Be a long way over there, probably another hour uh, flight. But I'm not too sure. I've never really done it in a long time with a Huey. So. Alright, let's just tell these guys we're inbound. Just for the hell of it. I'm not going to bother with an auto-rotation with this one right now. I really feel I think we're quite off an angle here. But, uh, Nagel's just going to land with this seat. If you guys are wondering, I am not using rudder pedals. I have a twist grip for uh, non-fixed inputs, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a minute. In case you guys are wondering uh, what I'm talking about. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Okay, pay attention there. Alright, normally I'd land in the middle. What's uh, distracting me at the wind? Alright, so we're talking about rudder inputs. Uh, well, that's quite crooked, but uh, let me just center the pedals here. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So, I'm centering them with my fixed inputs on the back of my throttle. I have an X55. There's two buttons on the right throttle. I just lock them together and use those one, but if I tap the left, tap, 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 it'll just stay there. And then it'll kind of max out at some point. Normally that's as far as you go unless I hold it. And then I have the twist on the joystick. And as soon as I release it recenters. Versus uh, if I do fixed inputs. Which works out great because you can set your trim and then reset it later. Let's just go over here and then we'll shut her down. It's probably get in a good habit of not sitting on the runway and blocking it either. So, uh, alright, let's... Uh, try not to waste any time here. Sorry about my... Uh, Drifting. <laughs> Alright, I don't usually shut it down with this, so. Well, I guess we need to throttle down too, eh? Alright, hydraulics off, force trim off. We had the de icer on, that's not off. 80, huh? It's on. Oh, 
Out of full shot. I don't know. Here. Oops. That BB. I don't know. It's probably good to learn how to do this from the opposite side, too, as well. This is surprisingly really confusing sometimes when you go from right to left. Here off, that's off. That looks good to me. Alright, let's oh yeah, the battery's still on. Let's see what we got here in the list. Uh, where is it? Oops. That'd be that one? No. Hmm. slot. Do we have an MI8? We do. Oh yeah, we're going to do a combat one. Where are we? Batumi. Kubaletti Harbor. Doesn't say slick. I'll try that. Should be where we need to be for the most part. Oh yeah, that's where we flew over before. All right, let's test out the uh, uh, capabilities of this offshore refinery. So we might as well do mini, or sorry, heavy. I've got mini, 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 and rockets. 50% yeah. feels probably too much. I'm going to 40, yeah, 30 is probably better. All right, Norwegian Coast Guard is going out to my buddy Nils. Do you ever watch this? Request rearming. Request re All right, let's get Copy. What do we got here? One more. All right, about ten two. So we got ten. Oh, about thirty-nine minutes in. All right, better do this the proper way. And I don't believe I'm sitting straight anymore here. Looks better. Hopefully I'm sitting in the right spot. Okay, yeah, I'll double check this if you're safe. You don't want her in idle. Sit there all day and she won't start on you. Well, let's prep this now because she's a combat chopper. Rocket pairs are one, flares are armed. I'm not going to arm the weapons yet. I'm not going to worry about ADF. Uh, as soon as they say we're armed, we can start to spread the way up. Alright. Right, our left. All right, let's activate the gunners. And we got blade movement. That's always good. Okay, so we have 
for their 30 minute spiel, by the way. Sorry, so the 40 minute spiel, I think. Oh. Maybe on. Oh, yeah, one thing we do need to check is our crosshair. Alright, and uh, we should get shot up pretty quickly here. Right in the combat zone. So maybe I'll circle around over here. And we'll come in. Oh, I can already see the gunboats from here. Actually, you know what? This is actually a good angle. We'll stay on this angle. Start over exhausting it. As you get uh, forward momentum here, it'll take the pressure off the exhaust and we can lower that collecto out of that red line, which is, I don't like to go that high up from time to time. Let's get a double check real quickly here if I want to get it. Good, alright. And. Any moment here, should the uh, shot at, I believe the first gunboat should be right there. I can see why, unless there's one already on this. You guys didn't see that? Uh, it's probably because we're in VR and it's putting, putting up the Oculus mirror and it totally distorts it a tiny little bit. Too much. And uh, I got him on free fire, so even though they sh probably shoot me first, he'll uh, shoot at them, even if he doesn't. There we go. And uh, to quote Will Smith from Independence Day, Oh no, you did not just shoot that green shit at me. Alright, as long as I can see it coming. So when you don't see it, then it's probably blasting through your window. Alright, door gunner. Are you gonna shoot? Or are they completely broken now? Oh boy, they broke the door gunner. Okay. Changes things. And door gunners are completely broken now. What are we gonna do here? I'll go mini. Test it out. Hey, I got him. Well, that's a little disappointing. It's a really screwed over the door gunners now, so used to work in uh, single player. Oh well. I used to fly for the longest time with just the main gunner, so I want us to do that. We're gonna shot up from the land here. Let's pull that out here, but. This one's a little bit more accurate. Let's see, uh, armor personal carrier MTLB or MB or whatever how I call it. Do the gunships first or uh, gunboats. I'll go back in one new. So a good little spread here to train and shoot. Uh, as far as I know, the submarines are unsinkable with the Huey. But I put them in there anyway, because I believe there's an A-10 on this map. Should be able to sink that. Oh, he's shooting a little more in that green shit at me. Alright. There we go. Well, 
Well, hopefully if my dunners aren't going to be shooting back, they'll all just hold themselves up in the window and use themselves as human shields. Not that you'd want to do that in real life. Sure, in real life they would uh, probably want to be shooting back there. comfortable here. Sometimes it's good when they shoot at you, you can really tell where they are. In the tree line up here, it's... I'll stick with minis for now, see the rockets for the other target range over here. Well, how many things you can kill in this game with the minigun? Oh, well, scared there. Wake you up in the morning. Oh, sounds like we took a hit to uh, the upper mass there. Take a look at that in a moment. See how we're doing. The warning lights are going to be on it. So all right. I'm going to shoot them a little bit to the left there. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky. Alright, see you later, Red 4. Blue is where it's at. All right. I think that's for the heck of it. We might as well sink a boat. Uh, switch to rockets. Looks like we have. All right. Just remember, I gotta aim a little differently here at the top of the circle. Uh, okay. Oh, alright, that's why I have them on minigun still. Makes sense. I'll just play with my food a little bit here. I'll circle around and finish them off from the uh, aft. Or, uh, what is it, the stern, whatever you want to call it? No, fore and aft, forward and back, and aft will be the rear, so we'll just go with that. Shoot it in its butt. Take a quick look on our time. We are 50 minutes in. Not too shabby. Some long range uh, missile testing and rifle. It's a little low. Oh well. I'm gonna 
visual, light them up like a Christmas tree. Oh yeah, we're gonna pull out of there, we're getting the old water lag. I don't know if I killed that, so say a ship destroyed. No. Oh, there's said three, but we did three gunboats, if you guys recall. I believe he's still up here. One more pass. Hopefully the abandoned ship. Oh, right on. Ditch these pods. Yeah, pods away. We'll take out this little civilian boat. Uh, I forget what it's called. Small pen. A bedney or something like that. Please don't quote me on that, because I have no idea what this is. I know it's a civilian something, anyway. Still a pretty big boat, but uh, they're... Easy to shoot. One way to always know if you're really wondering if you killed your target or not without pulling up the map and all that other kind of stuff if you have it enabled. ones just automatically blow up when you've killed it. Yeah, there we go. And that would confirm it, and this will double confirm if this says five. Oh, it's already sinking. Wow. Oh, that's one other way you can confirm your kill. Alright. Let's head inland and switch her up real quick here, and then uh, we'll go to land and Jump in the MI-8 real quick, do a lap of that, and then shut her down. I'm gonna keep track of when that happens, because I really need to... I lose, because uh, my internet upload is so slow, I lose about 60% of my frames, or whatever it's saying in OBS on average, so... Usually I have a fly about an hour and a half. I'll be lucky to get 40 minutes. That goes online. Uh, it's because I don't record it and upload it. It's just screams with a really crappy ISP. All right, let's worry about these guys over here first. A nice little spread of uh, delicious targets. Well, maybe you can blow those up too, but maybe they take rockets. Oh, one more, and that is a. We that. Not a gas. Uh, it's a tiger, that's it. T-I-G-R. 
Uh, if you guys ever want to see a movie with a whole bunch of those, I believe it's a movie out of Russia called Attraction. It's about an uh, alien ship that crashes on Earth while it gets shot down by the uh, SU-27s that launch off one of the carriers from Russia. It's pretty good. You get to see a lot of... Uh, it's almost like people who flew DCS went and made a movie and put some aliens in there. Not a whole bunch of trucks and uh, the, the beginning of the movie is quite phenomenal. I'd highly suggest it. Usually not that much money you can get it in a dubbed version as well. pass or two and go back to Kubaletti. Some really nice scenery. Uh, so I may have mentioned before, I have every single map as of now in DCS, which would be in order as they came out. It would be, well, the free map clearly was what we're on. Uh, and then they came out with NCTR. Is the Nevada Test and Training Range, which is where you could fly in Las Vegas Strip. After that, they came out with Persian Gulf, and then uh, I believe Normandy is the last one. And they're talking about. I believe it's another free map. Uh, hopefully it will be free. I'm not going to be paying money to have a map that's just mostly water. But, uh, the Atlantic, something like that. Supposed to be like icebergs and some random stuff. And that. Unless that's a user-created mission or map. Sorry, I don't know. Anyway, I like looking at my shadow. Um, or I mentioned about either low flat for my shadow, so sometimes it'll kind of disappear and head in and out. But uh, nothing like looking at your shadow with a Huey. It's, it takes your breath away. I believe that should be in your soundtrack for the F-14, I'd hope. Here we go, and with some uh, Tom Cruise Top Gun theme songs, I believe that's in that, unless I'm completely mistaken. There's one more gas, or tiger over here, we got that. And then we'll do one more pass, and then we'll roll into the airport. Uh, I guess I already got him. We're doing on field 30 minutes. Yeah, an ammo check real quick. Hopefully about 20%. Well, that's pretty good. Hang on. Yeah, you guys see how the shadow cuts in and out there? That's what I was talking about a minute ago. Probably noticed it already before. I wasn't talking about it at that point. Alright, let's try to get these all in one run. It's a little sloppy, but... Oh, no, I ain't gonna do it. Oh, there's one over here, right on. Guess we'll do one more quick pass and then we'll call our... Might as well clean up my plate. Say, say, the dinner table. And 
missed another one. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, I did. There it is. Alright. Ooh, I knew it was going to break off for a reason. Looks like I just managed to pull off in time there. Alright. Let's do a nice turn here. We'll come in from the shoreline to Kubaletti, get you guys a little bit different scenery. Oh, well, yeah, we're over, uh, I know I was hearing something there. Come on, exhaust, go down. When you start flying the Huey a lot, you can tell when you're over... Well, I like to say torque, but it's not really the proper word. But... Your uh, EGT limits are a little finicky sometimes. It could just be this throttle likes to... Black Sea, Caucasus. Really fun map. Glad wow, this is free. You guys are looking at DCS and the base model is free. Uh, you get this map, which is the entire Black Sea and surrounding area with starting way up in Georgia, Russia, which in Napa Airport, if you guys want to Google that, it's A-N-A-P-A. -A. And the, as, the Sea of Az Azov, A-Z-O-V, uh, is way up there and completely flyable as well. And going down into Georgia is where we are now. And further south, uh, where we started in Napa. Uh, just about as we get down to the border, I believe it's Turkey. I uh, could be wrong. Pretty sure it is, but uh, you guys can check that out. And uh, I don't believe any of there's no other cities or stuff modeled on the lower end of the Black Sea or the higher middle or to the far west. So maybe a quick review of the map. It's free though, so you can't complain. Uh, you're also going to get an SU-25T, which is a jet multi-roll air-to-ground, air-to-air, for free. It's a non-clickable cockpit. This is a fully clickable, as you guys could tell earlier if you watched the beginning. And a uh, fully clickable cockpit. It's a uh, Mustang trainer. They call it a TF-51D. TF-51 is in Delta. Um, those of you coming from like Arma and all that, you're gonna have a hard time flying it. So you have to learn how to properly fly it, how an airplane. So if you crank her up, take her off the runway, and pull back on the stick right away, you're gonna stall and crash every time. You actually have to press forward as you take off to level out the airplane and then once you get speed you start pulling up there but so uh, you guys will figure that out there you will land here at Kubaletti and then we'll go pull up the MI-8 fly around with that for a bit take a quick glance here as to how long I've been flying, and as you guys were mentioning, we have cockpit uh, 
reflections during the daytime. Which is supposed to be a known bug, but I don't really mind. I don't like kind of seeing it. No, it's on. At least if you know that you know that you know that it's not something that would happen in real life, then you'd know. As, uh, as mentioned, well, if anyone knows the exterior of a Huey, the uh, anti-collision light is located on the top of the exhaust. I believe that's the anti-collision, yeah. Make sure I'm quoting you right. Now I'll pull off here to the right and shut her down. Get a good time estimate. Uh, that way, even if the MI8 gets cut out, ooh, uh, uh, get the uh, good tidbits here. Should be about an hour, I'd imagine. Uh, maybe a little bit longer as the combat. Try to keep it nice and entertaining for you guys. <clears throat> I keep it spun PG-13. Maybe odd swear word in there, but uh, not then you wouldn't hear on uh, television there. About locking out your TV and child proofing it. Even if you guys even do that anymore, if kids got more lip on them than a gang of bikers by the time they're 10. Oh, that's a different generation. We grew up and we swore, man, we would get hurt. When we're young, anyway. Alright, let's just land right here. There's a meter, two meter per second winds. I forget which way they're coming out now. But that didn't look too pretty about good enough. Do a full shutdown. Might as well get used to that. Too bad the door gunners don't work, and I'll have to remind myself about that later, so I don't waste the extra energy. Why well, yeah, the inverters on? That makes sense. Turn off. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright, I'm just gonna take a quick glance. We are 20 after. So that's an hour and ten. Alright, I'll make sure we're still streaming is what I was going to say there. We are still streaming, good. Alright, so... Alright, twenty after now. Okay, hopefully you've made it this far. And it didn't get cut because I'm going to try and fly another hour just to make sure we get to this point before it gets cut. So it's really confusing to explain. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if we keep going at this point, then keep enjoying the video. We're going to switch to an MI at this point. Should be only one. Oh, well, we can do an SA342 out there as well. Alright, I haven't flown this in a while, and now uh, we're starting off for, you know, on a uh, harder spot to take off from. Okay. Alright, collectives down. Windows open. We're going to do an auto start, because I really don't remember how to start this offhand right now, so... There is quite a few gauges, so wow, uh, you're sure about you. That's different. 
Oh, uh, well, that's a lot of buttons you just did there. I believe he remodeled this with English assistance. 